Hi guys, Archie Luxury. Go to f2bbs.com. www.f2bbs.com. The last bastion of free speech on the interweb. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel today doing another paid review. Paid reviews keep me full time on YouTube without these paid reviews. I don't think I could survive. This is paid review 21QA55. And this paid review is from Hughie. Okay. Here we go. Hey, Yards, please refer to me as H in your review. I've sent you 85 bucks for your thoughts. I've been collecting for a couple of years now and have already hit a crossroads, so would like to call on your experience and considerable opinion. I bought my first luxury watch 20 years ago when I picked up where when I picked up a tag Monza to celebrate the biggest bonus I'd ever had um, at that point. Okay, okay. No worries there. Tag Monza. Uh, okay, tag Monza. Okay. Um, the watch is garbage and keeps shitty time, but it's still in the collection as it reminds me of a special time uh, and achievement. I, I don't know if the Monza's really garbage. It's a very retro type piece. Um, no, I, I look. It's certainly. It's a bit of an acquired taste, but it's, I don't think it's garbage. I don't think it's garbage. It might need a service, but the Monza. That's quite a. I, I, I don't. I actually don't hate it. Don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's not Rolex, but. It's, it's, it's not a bad watch in the same token. I next bought a Speedy Moon Watch 2019, largely on the strength of you championing them, which rekindled my love of watches. Quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing a Speedy. Mm. This is the 1861. Um... Largely on the strength of you championing them, which rekindled my love of watches. I wasn't a huge fan when I saw the Speedy, but listening to you over a period of months made me look again, and now I love it. I don't care for the bracelet, but have it on a black NATO and think it is stunning. Has to be the best value watch in my collection and is brilliant, a brilliant daily driver. Yes, yes, I I got to tell you, I uh, I sold my Speedy, and I'm so happy to be back. Thank you, MJT, for making that fantasy come true. Last year, I got a minor promotion and decided to celebrate with another watch. This time, a Patek 5205G. Wowzers. That's an amazing watch. Annual calendar paddock. Although not a daily, I wear it often. I love the elegance and craftsmanship. The watches changes uh, from every angle and difference in light. I just love it and can look at it for hours. I next bought a Rolex Yachtmaster 42, reference 226659. This was a chance purchase as I wandered past an AD. And they offered me a Pepsi if I bought the... Yup, master. Ah. Not sure I want to play the AD game, but I really like the watch and bought it on its own merits. The fact I was offered a Pepsi into the bargain was a bonus. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes, yes. That's a beautiful... I love that. That's Those are two beautiful watches. Um... True to their word, I picked up the Pepsi. Reference 126710BLRO three months later. This is probably the most 
Comfortable watch I have and probably my favorite. The Jubilee bracelet holds your wrist and I prefer the lighter, slimmer profile when compared to the sub. It's truly a gorgeous piece and one I love having in the collection. Finally, I bought a Hulk 116610LV, which was a complete impulse buy. I had been eyeing them for a while before they discontinued and had decided I wouldn't get one. I then saw a decent deal for an unworn example on Chrono24 and before I knew it, I pulled the trigger. I know this is a hyped and overpriced piece, but I do enjoy it and I'm glad to have scratched that itch. Next, I plan to buy a 5196R to celebrate my birth daughter's birth before trying to fill the box with an Explorer Run, Rose Gold, Oyster Flex, Daytona, and various other pieces. But I'm not sure I need to. Having got the fever pretty bad, I'm now thinking I might just have everything I need in the collection. I could even get rid of the Yacht Master and not really miss it. I find these four to five pieces cover all the bases. So question what I'd be buying the next ones for. Okie dokie. I... Don't understand this resistance to keep buying. Consumerism will make you happy. So I could stop here and be happy with what I have or fill the box with usable daily models. My other idea is to buy more paddocks as I have major life events I'd like to celebrate. I hope to come into some money next year when my when the company I own a stake in floats, at which point I'm considering a 5270 P or a 5204R, both of which can be had somewhere below retail. Uh, so this is my dilemma. Let me know your thoughts, H. Okay, so let's just go through a few of these purchases here. Firstly, the tag Monza. I don't mind the Monza. The Monza is actually funky enough. I, I think it's 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 nothing wrong with that watch at all. I like some of the reissue tags that are there, the Mon the um the Monaco, the Silverstone, the vintage Carreras, and I think the Monza's not a terrible watch. So let's just correct that firstly. Then you've got the Speedy. The Speedy is absolutely Man, I, I always come back. I love my Speedy. Absolutely love a Speedy. Speedy is a great watch. Great bank. I can't agree with you more. Great bank per buck. It's a lot of watch for not a lot of money. Uh, the Patek. Oh, my God. That is the 5205G white gold Patek Philly. My God. That is absolutely beautiful. The Yacht Master, I gotta tell you, man, that Yacht Master is absolutely gorgeous. When I bought my sub, the guy sold it to me at cost, retail plus some taxes. Uh, I gotta tell you, he was wearing a white gold Yacht Master, and I think that is a beautiful watch. I, I can't believe you, you treat it like, oh, I had to buy it to get the Pepsi. Man, that is so. Wrong. That Yacht Master 42 in white gold, man, that is absolutely gorgeous. I think you just say that because it wasn't a struggle. But that is a beautiful watch. I think, I, I don't think I would sell it. I think you're a bit spoiled. Do not sell that. I love you. That's, I, I, if I, if I could pick one, I'd have to take the paddock, but... Uh, the Yacht Master would be the second choice. I love love the Yacht Master in white gold. Perfect size. The finish on it is amazing. So I think you're wrong. Do not sell that. Then you've got your Pepsi. Pepsi's, Pepsi is fantastic. There's no denying that. Um, great watch. And even the Hulk. You, you sort of say it's hyped in this. Yeah, it, it's true, but it's, it's fantastic. Now, okay. Let's have a talk about this. Now, so so, so so, what do I think here of this collection here? Uh, look, I think it's pretty nice. But i got to be honest with you. 
I'm a little bit disappointed. You don't have respect for the Yachty. The Yachty's a great watch. That's... I think that's a, probably one of my favourite precious metal Rolexes. I love it. So don't be... Don't be like that. I, it's just it's just so uncool. Um, 5196. Absolutely beautiful watch. I've got a 59... I've got the J, the yellow gold. Um, look... What do you do? Do you get more? Do you what? What do you do? Look, I I think honestly, looking at the collection. Honestly, looking at the collection. Let's be totally honest here. You either pony up and pay more money, or you carry on with this loser talk. Losers, losers. That's loser talk. Man, you got all the look at me peacock watches. You got the Pepsi, the Hulk. You know what? You gotta pony up and get more. With an ego like that, you gotta pony up and pay pipers, okay? So I think that's loser talk. What? You can't stretch anymore? Come on, man. Wake the fuck up! Uh five two seven zero, that's more like it, or a five two oh four R. Yep. Amazing. But um I gotta tell you, man, stop this loser talk. Loser talk, loser talk. Yeah, that's pretty um, crappy for someone like you with the show offy models. It's a good, good collection, but I'd add more. Of course, I would add. Let's have a look there. You've got a, you got a ten box. You got five pieces. So I would add the five one nine six. I would add the Explorer one two. I would add the gold, rose gold oyster flex. That there is three, and I would add the Padex four and five. Yeah, there we go. You got to add. Fill this box up, baby. Fill this box up. None of this loser talk. Losers, winners do things losers aren't prepared to do. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Uh, loser talk. Loser talk. I gotta be honest with you, you've got some nice pieces. I think your problem is, Hugo, you just, you had too many things given to you. You got the, the Yacht Master. I reckon that is one of the most beautiful, precious metal Rolexes in modern time. But you just think, oh, it's a nothing watch. That's being a bit of a jerk. Because you want all the look at me, look at me. That's a really crappy attitude and way to behave in life. Personally, I think you're being a bit... That's very facetious. Very facetious. Very, very... Nah, look, they're nice pieces, but don't, don't carry on like a dick. If you haven't got the money, just man up and tell me the truth. Instead of saying, I think I got enough. What's wrong with you? That is loser talk. Losers talk. Winners do what losers aren't prepared to do. Remember that. I add more. Add more. You gotta add a 5196. You gotta add an Explorer 1. Add a you gotta need a Daytona. Someone like you. Get a panda! Panda, panda, panda! Get a panda! Or the show off the models. That's what you need to do. You gotta win a winner chicken dinner! Okay, if you want to have the show off models, you've got to add more. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's what you need to do. Add more. It's a nice collection. I think there's some nice pieces there. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Add more. Add more. That's what I would do. Add, seriously, add more. Great collection, but add more. Add more. Add more. It's, that's loser talk. Losers. Loser talk, man. That's not winner, winner, chicken dinner. So, uh, I look, Hugo, I'd be adding more to it. Add more watches. When do you stop? When you're dead. That's when you stop buying watches, man. This is the reality. I mean, look, look, for other people, I tell them, hey, that's enough. But look, come on, man. Your ego is, is like a 747. You've got massive ego. I can tell you the truth. Buy more. Losers, losers say they got enough. 
winners get more. Okay, that's that's a that's my view. So just wake up and add more watches. Okay, guys, like, subscribe, and tell your friends. This is a great collection. Add more to it. You need winner, winner, chicken dinner. Maybe add an Aquanaut or a Nautilus would be great as well. You know, something really, really hard to get. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's what I would be doing. Yank this up a notch. Okay, guys, like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Remember, I can't survive on Google Ads. I need paid reviews. And also Patreon. Sponsor me on Patreon. Okay, guys, uh, look down in the description. Get a paid review, and I will see you in the next one. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches, David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co. Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.